Gabby Moreno from Guatemala. And I got I to gotta ask you right off the bat, what are some of the like, first inspirations as a young Gabby in Guatemala that you were listening to? Well, um, at first, like when I was very, very young, I want to say like six, seven, eight years old, I was listening to a lot of music um, from musicals and, and Disney movies and that kind of thing. But also like whatever was popular on, on the radio, which was coming mostly from, from Mexico. So like bands like Timbiriche and like that, you know, like that kind of those chicos and like... Fun pop music. Yes. Pop music from Mexico and all that. But then uh, something happened when I turned 13. I, uh, I, I went to New York with my family. They took me on this just vacation trip. And um, for the first time, I heard blues music. Like, I had never heard anything like it in my life. And I was just, you know, it was just not in my radar. And also because I didn't grow in a musical family. So I um, fell in love with it. I, I bought a bunch of records, brought them back to Guatemala and listened. And, you know, just fell more in love with all the other styles, like jazz and soul music and all that and and then picked up the guitar and you know just kind of went from there <laughs> well that's actually where we first met i mean you're based here now in la yeah. but we actually first met in new york for an lamc and Did, that was the yeah. first time you were actually on the airwaves of kcrw but this has been long overdue oh that you gosh. come here into I the can't studios even tell of you kcrw how long I'm waiting to, to be here and and to be playing with this incredible band and uh, yeah, it's a lifelong dream come true, for sure. Well, we welcome you here with open arms, and it's, it's great to have you. The other thing that, that I find that's really important for you is, is family. And mm -hmm. you've been so dedicated to everybody that's helped you kind of from day one. Obviously, Sebastian is on the drums back there yes. with you. And we have Gil Gostellum from Cosmica, who's also been with you for uh, quite some time. But, you know, something like... Being with, with, with somebody like Gil for, for so long, yeah. that dedication, you know, you don't see that too often know, in this yeah. industry now. Absolutely, yeah. No, it's also been a dream to work with, with Gil and the whole Cosmica team. I mean, they really are like my family here in LA. <laughs> and I really do say that because I, I don't have anybody of my real family. They're all in Guatemala. I'm here by myself. To, to, to be able to have them uh, who not only just support me as, you know, as an artist, but they're there for me or like anything, you know, they're, they're the best. And so I'm incredibly lucky to, to have them in my life. Yeah. And Gil is a bit of a trooper because, you know, he's, he sees talent and he sticks with it. And, yeah. see, you know, working with <laughs> you, it's, it's quite obvious why. So, oh. and that, that well, relationship that you guys have had for, for a while is, is, Pretty impressive, so. Pero no That's what yeah. we say. <laughs> and, you know, um, I, I wanna ask you something else. You, 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 you touch on the family being back in Guatemala. I'm gonna ask you a question that I asked you a few years back. Uh, if there's somebody that maybe is no longer here with us now that you can potentially maybe have a, a tea with or a conversation with, mm. who would that be? <laughs> um, goodness. Um... So many, ah! Okay, right now, I, I'm, Ella Fitzgerald is coming to mind. Oh, she's wow. like one of my old time, one of my old time favorite vocalists and... What would you ask her? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know what I would ask her. I'd probably just be like, <laughs> awestruck and just speechless and just be like, uh, uh. I actually know a lot about her life, so I don't, so I, I, and I don't know. I would want to hear stories of, of, uh, of her on the road. Like, you know, how, how was it to like, how, I don't know, just how was it back then? I mean, I'm, I must have been so so hard and, you know, just... But also, like, I would want to know, like... I would want to know about her as a dancer because that, that's how she started. So I would want to know a little bit more about that. And you're a big fan of the blues, obviously, and I yes. know we've talked about, you know, decades like the 20s, the, the decor, the silent movies and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I... That, you know what? I got into that when I, I moved to L.A., I moved to LA in the year 2000, but around 2003, 2004, I started going to Largo a lot. And I would go there just as a fan of all the artists that were playing there. Uh, shout out to my dear friend and brother, David Garza, whom I became, I became a huge fan of his. And then, you know, now, now he's like my brother. Um, but like all the, all the music that, was, that I was hearing there, um, and not only like the, the, the artists that, you know, the, the live music, but also like what was the music that they were playing before the, the, the concerts would, would begin, like all that was like music from the 1920s and 30s. And I was like, oh, wow, what is this? Like it was just immediately transporting me. And that's how I 
you know, discovered uh, the Possible Sisters or um, Bessie Smith and like, just stuff from, you know, way back when. Well, fast forward to the Latin Grammys and then the Grammys this year. Congratulations <laughs> on winning a Grammy. Please give it up. <laughs> Grammy award winning. You've won multiple Latin Grammys as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, the full link for me, which was mm. absolutely gorgeous. The Thank collaboration you. with Oscar. So Thank congratulations you. on that. Thank you so much. That was uh, incredible. Incredible for me because that was a, it's an acoustic album that I did. Um, of songs that uh, from, from previous albums that meant a lot to me and I, I keep saying this that I just went into the studio for about six hours and I just like you know just laid down those wow, those songs so yeah it was so quick because it was just me and my acoustic guitar and uh yeah it, it was really incredible well, I also want to talk about the new album, Dusk. This is your ninth album. Yes. And there's some cool covers. Yeah. There's some, some great collaborations. Yeah, so I, I decided to include Luna de Xelajú, which is a, a song that's considered a second anthem in Guatemala and was also on my acoustic uh, album. But now, this time on this album, now you hear it with like full production and the whole band, and it's really great. And then I also decided to do a Bob Dylan cover just because I love him, and, and also because I have a, the incredible Van Dyke Parks uh, playing piano on it, so that was super fun. Explain to those who don't <laughs> know who Van Dyke Parks is. Oh my gosh, um, where do I begin? I mean, he's, he's a national treasure, he's an incredible musician, arranger, composer, and uh, he's been around for a really, really long time, uh, really well known for the work that he did with uh, Brian Wilson, with Randy Newman, with Ryan Cooter, but he's also done arrangements for Skrillex, and Fiona Apple and Joanna Newsom, and it's just like he's just amazing. Never ceases to amaze me. Um, and I was lucky enough to record an album with him uh, that came out in 2019 called Spangled, which was all his arrangements done. I mean, orchestral arrangements done to songs from Latin America that we both loved. And there's there's a couple of themes in this album. You you hear fear, you hear loneliness, but there's also this tinge of like positivity and yeah. this great outlook on life yeah i mean I, I feel i feel there's a lot of there's a lot of hope there's a lot of there's a lot of resilience yes you have your songs about fear and darkness and all that but then also about you know waiting and hanging the, hanging in there because there's always something something good who will come along you know just around the bend that's always been kind of my my thinking in life well, i love that that your sound is always evolving it's changing and what's next? Are you, what, what, are you, what are you learning to learn still? Like, what's in the future Ooh. for Gabby? I'm always wanting to learn th different things. Um, I want to get better on the guitar. <laughs> I always say Well, that. I think you sound really good already. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, 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 you know. But um, I, I want to... Gosh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be traveling a lot this year. I'm going to be going on tour. We're going to Australia this this uh, weekend. We're going to be out there for three weeks. And then we have a bunch of shows in the U.S. coming up in April. And I'm excited, I'm, you know, I'm excited to bring this all this new music out to people. Well, yeah. congratulations on everything. Congratulations on the Grammy, the album, uh, the late night with uh, Jimmy Fallon <laughs> performance. That was really cool with Oscar and yeah, really doing cool. the theme for Parks and Rec. That was, that was a lot of fun, too. <laughs> I mean, we love what you've been doing, and we just wish you continued success. Thank you so much. Everybody, so please much. give it up for Gabby oh, Moreno. Gracias.